Okie cokey YouTube, we're back on. We called it Curtain and uh, all's well. Quite a lot of bikes turning up now. And I just remember to turn the back the camera on. The back camera's playing up again, so that's having a nicky dicky fit. So we'll have no back footages yet, I don't think, until I get home. But uh, I'll sort that out at uh, Bridge maybe, have a look at it and uh, see what I can do. See if I can get it up and running again. See what we can do there. But it's a lovely day. Bit more cloud coming in now. But uh, all well, still all together. Everybody's doing just fine. Plenty of wildlife about still, so it still haven't been frightened away yet. Just having a minute, as you do. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. It does turn him well for the big wheel back. It does turn him well. Sorry, you just having a minute there. We'll be coming through a bit of a woodland up here. Uh, Adam and I will slow down and wait for the guys. And then we're coming down to a junction. So it's a straight road. Nobody will get lost. We just... Just had a little... Uh, little minute. You've got to watch out. I mean, I usually uh, don't slow s too much down going through here. But you just got to watch out going through here because there's a deer. The deer do run through this woodland and uh, you don't want one of them babies in front of you. So it's always just wise to just uh, cool down a bit. As I say, we've got a long straight here, and then we go round the bend at the top, and then we come down to a junction. The guys are catching up again. Should have wiped my visor. Oh, I never checked the camera for uh, bug splats. Uh, well, we haven't gone so far anyway, we've only gone a few miles as we go down to the bridge, because uh, I'm only stopping at bridge so Derek can have a look at it, as he hasn't uh, been this way before and he's never been to Devil's Bridge, so it'd be rude to come all this way and not uh, have two minutes there. So I'll have a look at the rear view facing camera, and uh, see if I can get that up and running, get a bit of a few shots on it. And uh, we'll have a minute and we'll get going again. Let's look at that scenery. Absolutely stunning. James is bringing up the rear. We'll slow right down here till we all uh, regroup. Oh, but bro, early. Oh, we're all together now. Happy days. <coughs> no, well, look at that place all boarded up. We came past it the other day, if you remember. What a shame. Must grow strawberries there, just in a sign, champagne and strawberry deal. Sprocket and I once went uh, to a place in York, luxury, uh, yeah, I wish I could remember the name, cabins. Really, really nice, kids had uh, grown up and we thought we'd spoil ourselves. Oh, 
Oh, what went there? No, it's it escapes me. But they had uh, jacuzzis in the room, in the bedroom. Uh, massive showers out you want, and outside or a uh, an hot tub. You know, we all bubbles and what have you. <coughs> and uh, when Sprocket and I went, uh, we were uh, it was snowing. And we sat in hot tub, in the snow, drinking champagne, eating strawberries, and the pheasants were walking by. You could not, oh, it was so magical. It was like one of them moments. You couldn't buy, you know, you couldn't, if no matter how much money you had, to have got everything together like that, it would have cost an absolute fortune, but everything just fell into place. It was so... Um, Romantic. <laughs> Is that not biker talk? I feel like I'm going to have a coffin for you, Jim. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it was just, uh, just so nice. Everything worked out just fine. And went in a, had a BMW Z3 at the time, rear wheel drive. <laughs> In snow. Oh dear. Oh, Lisa. Yeah, we stayed there about three nights, I think we had there. And there was a restaurant, and you could either ride, drive right round to it or walk through the woods, and there were torches provided in your cabin. And uh, you needed your torch to come back at night because uh, pitch black, no lights, and you had to walk through this woodland. And we went there a couple of nights and walked back through the wood. Yeah, it was just so nice. But I can I not I cannot fit life in me. Remember the place. And I still get emails from them trying to uh, track us back now. It's many years ago. I can't remember when it that BMW. I was at Port Rangers and that's five years ago since I finished there. And I probably got shot at BMW a few years before that. Sold it to one of the lasses who worked on Rangers. Nice little car, that. It had every conceivable extra you could have on it. It was a good little car with that. Sprocket weren't keen. Sport, sporty type car. She it with the low down for a good bit of fun, though. Good bit of fun. Uh, school to my right. Nice little set of twisties coming up. Had another village hall. We're all together. Oh, there's some traffic lights up here, isn't there? And we're on red. I'll try and attract their attention. Flashing light. And it worked. Or maybe it didn't, maybe they just changed. Who knows? Wach knows. Yeah, we still have something sprocket in our. We just can't decide. Change his mind on to uh, spec a time or two. Mind you, I suppose that's what you do, isn't it? First of all, you don't want to go, and then you think, well, hang on a minute, maybe I do. Then Sprocket took to growing spuds and bloody strawberries and carrots and onions and out you want, so now looks like it's back on. So, I don't know, we still. Still looking. We're still looking.
We're still having a route round. And we're changing, uh, you know, the location by, you know, where the fish you want to live, then you go back 10 mile or 5 mile or whatever you want to do, and then uh, you can't find out there, so you go back another 5 mile, and you think, hey, you aren't living there, and so on and so on and so on, and so it goes on. Slow down through here. I know you don't need to, but uh, we will do. The boys will catch up, I'm sure they will. It's just a uh, shame to, uh, I know we'll stick together, I'm going to stick together all the time today, but it's just a shame to get out to twists and not to uh, give them a good rattling. <laughs> well, we're here, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> and it's a straight line, so nobody's going to get lost anyway. There's only five more minutes of them left this side of them anyway, well two minutes, depending on how fast you go of course. for the guys in Whittington because I don't want her to take a left turn where you know he can actually take a left turn. So we'll wait for the guys down here. Yeah. Old Bell, Old Bell Tower. You have never known that. That's what you see when you stop in every now and again, isn't it? <laughs> you see a bit of summit. Cherry tree. Do you ever eat them cherries off them trees? I do. I used to stand in park and eat bloody tons of them. Oh, they were good. Out storms there for NHS. Support your NHS, so why not? And here we go again, another little round of twisties. Girl. She not the bad for the big one. The big laugh. Weighs a fair old ton and all though this big bird. Carries it well though. Just carry it well. Bad bend here. Just give it a dab break a bit down the gear. And open the little lady up. Give it a good rattling round here. Catching cars up.
And we're going into the curve into a 30. That went nice, weren't it? I like that again now, that. Out at the window. Gone. Had a minute. Wild garlic again. I said that the other day when we came down that way. Definite smell of wild garlic and it's very pungent. Very pungent. I'll just stop up here to the left for a second while the guys catch up. Give me a minute. Ah, oh, there you Are we all out? Yeah. Ah, good, isn't it? Okay, okay. Okay, cocky YouTube, we're back on. We've now left the bridge and we're all together and we're heading for Seb. Sun's out, it's warm. No mishaps. We all appear to be having a cracking time. Police have drove past a couple of times. Checking the gaff out. But didn't stop any time at all. I think they I don't know what they're doing, just checking job up, I think. This is a nice uh, fast road, this. Plenty of sweepers on here. I'm a bit uh, rusty now at uh, Road to Sebba, but I know it's down here. They're not Road to Sebba. Kirby Stephen. I just can't put my finger on it at minute. But in no doubt as I come round here it'll all become less foggy when we get there.
I hope he slows down before he gets round that bend here. You know what I mean? I'll show you, as I often do. As you come out of this dip down here. Through church, there. And he's not there anyway. So, where that silver car is, usually a camera van pointing down this way. No, oh, not today. Which is good. Still in a 38 down here till we get to the uh, national speed limit sign. And then we take off and get well. We're on a slower run today. Go, ladies and gentlemen. Back into the scene, honey. Derek says he's having a good time, which is my main focus for today. Hope he enjoys yourself up here with the Northwest lads. Oh, not again. I haven't gone off this time. Sorry YouTube, I'm neglecting you again, I'm just uh, slipped off into a bit of a dream there. It's concentrating on the riding and the scenery. I've shut the front down because it's got a bit windy around here and it's probably picking a bit of wind noise up. When we stop the next time I'm going to put the... Uh, well, I might do. I might put the uh, flap thing down in my helmet. No point me overtaking, we stretched a bit here and stick together. Met a very nice gentleman at the bridge, says he. <laughs> <laughs> came over and uh, made himself known and said uh, is it a vloggers out in this and proceeded to tell us how uh, well known we were <laughs> but he couldn't remember my name <laughs> my you know my channel name so <laughs> I'm not as well known as I thought I were <laughs> all in good fun of course all in good fun and it doesn't matter to me one bit <laughs> in fact they didn't know Adam's name either so <laughs> Adam and I aren't as well known as we thought we were <laughs> which pleased James and uh, Derek in fact he thought it was quite amusing
good, uh, yeah. Good, uh, good, uh, good, good little bit of a laugh there. Come on, guys. Catch up. That road takes you to Kirby Lonsdale, Old Town as you call it. It's a very nice village if you've never been up there. I think there's around about nine pubs or eleven, something like that, and some restaurant type pubs. And, you know, pubs of all different varieties. But if you come this way with a dog, every one of them is dog friendly. Everyone you can get in with your dog. Which is, re oh, I think it's really good that. I think it's really good. And some of them often uh, leave treats out for a dog. And they all have water, you know. If you come this way for a, a day, a, a day's break or the caravan site, quite close. The tents as well, and they also have them uh, pod thingy majiggies. And it's uh, not more than a couple of hundred yards away from the motorbike bridge, you know, where we've been with motorbikes. It's not more than a couple of hundred yards from there. So if you're a biker as well and you like, you know, looking at bikes and you want a bit of a break, camping pod or something like that, and they have them up there, you can bring your tent if you want your own tent. It's a nice campsite, I can recommend it. And I can certainly recommend uh, Kirby Lonsdale. Sprocket and I have stopped here a few times. Looks like a few more bikes have tagged on, that's what I'm looking at. Yes, I would have liked to have had a little <laughs> peck at their heels, <laughs> so to speak. Hey ho, one of them. A bit of a bendy, it's not that... Uh... But on the other side of this arch, if you come this way, sometimes it uh, it does take a long time to dry. Like we've had a lot of dry weather lately, so it does dry around there. But if you come earthling around there, sometimes there is a lot of standing water that you have to be aware of. Police. Mr. Policeman. Oh, they, <laughs> they'll run right into him. <laughs> Fast lads. <laughs> oh dear, I bet that's slowed him down a bit. And this one here is another uh, uh, damp, very damp bend. It does take a long time to dry. Oh, there's another guy up my backside here. There's a rake of them coming. think 
Yep. Narrowing bend this. River. Lovely. We're coming down to that bend I was telling Adam about uh, many a time when I've been out with lads. If you're not watching, it's a right sharp right under. And there's a sign on the left hand side here. I'll show you when we get down to it. Here, this one here, but as you can see, the trees are covering it. Oh dear, what's happened here, this fast lad? He's gone on, hasn't he? Has he gone on? <laughs> But that's the one that uh, many a lad, I've done it, I've known a lot of lads, I've been out way, gone the same way, they're going, haven't seen the sign for that right hander, and shot straight, it's a good job that road's there actually, it's a very good job that road's there, we're being caught up again here. fast lad twists and turns here a bit if he comes past me I'll hang in to the left for him let him go there's another back push back he's jamming on because of push back right corner there it is Somebody pulling out. No, oh, he's got his four wheels on. You can never tell on these roads, can you? It's, they are dodgy roads, you know, if you're not uh, giving it 100%. Especially on Bank Oliver's when a lot more fork out. There is a lot more fork out today, that showed that day at Bridge. Even Gaffey were open. Well, not the bridge one, the one that... Uh, Comes and pinches the trays and pays. Uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not talking out of turn again here, I don't actually know. I'm going to say pays a lot more, less money to the pitch than to others do, I don't know. How do I know that? Might be paying us just as much. Going back into twisties. It's obviously one of those money-making machine vehicles up here. The government ones. So we'll just cool it down. Must be in uh, Seba. We'll have to observe the 30 rule coming through here. Because I do believe there's a vehicle somewhere. Bath House, or Bath House, and that's a cemetery. Well, 
Lots of more tobacco type people around here. Yeah, this is where it's a bit grey. I just need to uh, get me a uh, bearings. I'm going to go over the uh, crossing, no. Oh. I think, we do we go straight on? Is it right to Halls? I can't remember. Yeah, Kirby Stevens, straight on. That's so on. Look at that view, guys. Look at that view. He's had a long enough, Derek. You know, he's got to get here and he's uh, in saddle for most of the day. I hope he's all right. Hey, lad. Come on, guys. Let's get a spurt on. It's fast road, is this? Go on, James. Pick your feet up. Get past this chappy. What's going on here then? What we're jamming on for here? Oh, that's better, isn't it, then, looking at that old way. It's lovely countryside round here. That's the last thing you want to look at. Donkeys. I do like a donkey. Proper think they smart. That uh, This turn can catch it out. It's a bit of a nasty one, is that? Bit of a naughty one. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. It should catch up now. Should overtake him there. He'll come there, round there, pretty gingerly with trailer, and then the uh, three should have uh, nabbed him. Campsite, 150 yards. Yeah, we're all round. Just down there. Up oh, and running. Look at that to the left, guys. Wowee. The boys are on it. Narrowing of the road. Happy days. Oh, happy days. 
Zoom into me right hump note again. Oh, happy days. Well, not wanting to get political at all, as my channel is definitely not political, but what's happened with this decision Boris has made? That stirred up some controversy. And it? There'll be some that happens with this one. There'll be something happens with this one. One rule for one, one rule for others is what they're saying. We'll see what the uh, what comes out in wash with this. So enough said on that one, the better. But uh, oh dear, there's somebody tweeting, uh, you know, on the civil servants website. It's something along the lines of uh, try try working with the truth benders. <laughs> truth benders. <laughs> Dearie me, oh dearie me. Well, we will leave the political uh, debate there. Look at that view, guys. That's all we are bothered about. I have a local subscriber, recent subscriber, Babs. And he travels these roads, um, delivering. Although I'm not a biker, they do travel these roads delivering and uh, get some, some tight spots. Seven and a half ton around Dent, I believe. <laughs> Bad enough, me, when I take my bike. <laughs> Never mind the seven and a half tonner. So I take my hat off to you, Babs, well done. You'll probably be one of the essential workers as well, so, yeah. Look at that valley, guys. Just look at that valley. I'm trying to get the best shot for you, so, you know, and drive as well. Absolutely stunning. And we're on about uh, 10 to 12 at the moment. I've sent Sprocket a couple of texts. Hope she's all right. In fact, I meant to leave with some money out and one thing or another, Derek, uh, coming a bit early, I forgot about uh, dropping her a couple of quid to spend. She has a card, you know, she knows she's not short of any money in Tower's pocket, and she can spend. She likes a bit of retail therapy, that lass. Oh, we've got the uh, police here. Obviously stop someone. Oh, he's taking some details. That was an unmarked bike, I do believe. Let that one be a lesson. Rude not to.
We should all get around the uh, little car. I would have thought. He looked like a policeman, I hope he wasn't. For that gentleman, but he looked like he was taking details to me. But then again, he may not have been. I think we've, uh, the boys haven't got around the car yet. James and uh, Derek. Derek. Oh boy. The sun's gone in slightly, which is a bit concerning. But uh, very dry as you can see, and definitely uh, definitely no rain in the air. Are we all together again? Yeah, we're all right in the car. Uh, Kirby Stevens, approximately seven mile off. I hope Adam makes it back to work in time. I think he said two o'clock he's got to be back there for. They'll probably leave us in. Uh, Kirby Stephen. I think you're about jumping up more to where. In about half twelve, I think he said. I'm going to have my soup at Kirby Stevens. I have brought some in uh, my flask, and uh, James says the chip is open, so no doubt he'll be having chips. If he hasn't brought any, of course, he might have brought some. Of it. Derek's got his butty bag, so he's all right. And Adam, I don't know what Adam's doing. Oh, Adam's got something in his uh, little thingy-majiggy. Uh, six and, 16 and a half litre. Oh, no, what am I talking about? That's his tank. <laughs> his little bag. His little bag on top of his tank. He's got some stuff in that. So he'll be, uh, hopefully, as he's dinner in there. And then, unfortunately, he's going to have to go to work and drive. Oh, dear. Not good, is it? When you have to go to work. Not good at all. Armoury type person. When we come back from... Uh, Kirby Stevens, they intend to go over Swaledale, and uh, that's absolutely stunning over there. A couple of bikery type people will be, I don't know what they're doing. Having a minute, maybe a photo shoot. And a nice couple of little twisties down here. Oh, yes. Now we've got something farmery going on here with sheep. Slow down, Stephen, they're loose. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, 
Let's look at that. Just don't get any better. Good roads, perfect scenery, perfect bike, good company. Happy days. Happy, happy days. You know, I've missed this. I missed it terribly when that uh, lockdown malarkey were on. I hope to God we don't go back to that. do. Camper type thing maybe here? Is it, is it nose box? Camper. Maybe nose box. <laughs> nose box. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, are you a camper type person in a camper van or a caravan. We've had this debate, haven't we? It's still raging on in our house and our family. Two sisters with camper vans and it's me and Sprocket and I have got the caravan. I suppose he watches what's what you want, innit? I never looked at my bloody camera for bug splats. Oh dear. I've got the rear camera going. I don't know if it's still going. But it would appear... Um, I've solved that problem, whether we are still going or not, I'm not right sure. I shall look at Kirby Stevens. Hope we can get a car parking space for each of us, I'm sure we can. If not, we'll have to park round on the square. Wharton. We're almost there now. And we're all out. That's good. Two mile. Two mile to Kirby Stephen. Kirkby Stevens Station. That'll be on the set of the Carlisle, won't it? Have you ever done that route on the train? Set of the Carlisle? I haven't yet. I mentioned it's a property time, but it's expensive, isn't it? Unless you can get some sort of offer. I don't know if they do offers, but uh, every time I've looked, it's, uh, it's a dear do. I might, uh, you know, I might just have a do it with that one day. Sprocket and I, murder on the Orient Express. I wonder who'd be the one who got murdered. <laughs> Knowing Sprocket did it for me. <laughs> Have you ever had a, uh, what do they call them now, who done it? We used to uh, have a few of them at our house. Uh, that when I used to drink, I mean the problem were obviously, as the night went on and the drink went down, the further and further you got to uh, befuddle with it all. I never, I, I never even ever got one. Them bloody kits, you used to pass them round, didn't you? After you, you know, we had, a, we had quite a few at one time and we used to um, swamp them about a bit, but it just, I don't know. I could never... Uh, Get him. Who done it? Professor Plum in the library with a little pipe. 
Cluedo. Can you remember Cluedo? I used to get that a couple of times, I think. I might have cheated. <laughs> 